Hey guys, Doug back with you. Uh, one of the uh, best comments on my channel that I've had in a while was, uh, you never know what I'm going to do next. And uh, I take that as a compliment anyway. So today is no different. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to do a, a hanky video. Yep, hankies. The old hanky. When I was a boy, many, many years ago, my, uh, in my drawer I had uh, socks, underwear, and hankies. And that's just the way it was. We had hankies. That's what we used. We didn't use Kleenexes. We didn't use paper towels. We didn't use anything. And uh, I see it's starting to come back again. I've been carrying one again for a year or two. And uh, I just find them indispensable. Like, very handy to have. Not just for blowing your nose and uh, taking pocket dump Instagram pictures. They're uh, they're a very handy tool. I uh, I use mine for everything, from wiping your hands to clean those little coffee cup circles before your wife sees it on the coffee table. Uh, you know, gunk on your hands and uh, polishing this or that, and wiping your knife off, picking up your pots out of the fire or off the wood stove. Just a handy thing to have in your pocket, and I think every guy should have one in their pocket. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, how we make them today. It's not a commercial. We're not selling anything. I want you to make your own. And uh, guys, don't turn, don't tune out on me because uh, there's a little hack in there that uh, I'll show you how to get them made. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. I got a whole whack of uh, hankies in my drawer now, and uh, I change them like I change my underwear once a week if we need it or not. <laughs> now every day I grab a fresh one and start the. The day new. Okay, so we need a uh, couple yards of cotton. Now uh, we want cotton. Don't get anything with uh, acrylics or uh, silks or anything. Uh, cotton is super absorbent, lasts a thousand washes. And uh, if you buy a yard, you get uh, so on this one here, you've got uh, like a plaid, and then just get a contrasting uh, backing. I like the backing, the double layered ones. So. Get yourself a couple yards of fabric. Now we'll go into the uh, the room that's normally off limits to me. <laughs> oh, say hi. All right, all right. You got your fabric. Just give it a quick iron just to flatten it out. And we'll put her on the table. Okay. So what I have here is a piece of plexiglass that I cut out. But you can use a piece of cardboard, you can use whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to cut some uh, lines, make sure if you have a pattern that you pull it all straight. These patterns have a tendency to, to work themselves around. And where's her thing, Majigi? She's hidden her knife there. So once I got that down, you can draw, you can draw a marker on there because you won't see the edges. And... Uh, Cut out with scissors. So all I'm going to do for sake of the video is just cut one out here with the cutter. Not going to quite cut. All right. So there's your square. Your square is cut. So I'm going to do the same thing with your backing. The backing is, uh, I've got one pre-made here. So if there is a good side, so this would be the inside. So the good side is going to go in because we're going to reverse this. So we're going to lay these on top of each other. Take some pins. Just pin, pin it even. Look at this. We're winning now. Like I said, if it doesn't, uh, if your edges aren't exactly 100% perfect, it's okay because this is going to be turned inside out again after. So the good side is facing in. It's all pinned together. Look at that. So that's your hanky. So 
So all you need now is to uh, to sew it together. All right, guys, we've uh, we went to the store. We bought our fabric. We used an ironing board and an iron. We laid it out. We cut out our squares. We even pinned them together. We've done a lot of work on this. So when we come over to the uh, sewing machine, what I like to do is uh, I'll say, Sophie, I need a hand for a minute. And then she'll come down and help me sew them because if I touch this machine, I will smash it. But a lot of guys can do it and that's okay because the sewing machine is now a thread injector and that's still cool. But uh, if you do all this work, you got your grandma, your mom, your aunt, your friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Somebody would love to just run some stitches around here for you. You're almost done. It's just the finishing thing and uh, I'm sure people would be happy to help you out if you don't have a sewing machine. So this is still easy for uh, the non-sewers. Uh, non Alright, the boss is here now and she's getting ready to sew. But I want to show the guys that the first thing that she did is she put two lines on here so that she doesn't forget to leave that space. That space is important. If you sew that through, you'll be picking it out again. Yeah, I usually line it up so that's about a quarter inch here. Quarter inch. And not just that. I'm going to start, but then you back stitch a little bit to lock that in because when you turn it around, uh, it's going to give a bit of pressure on those seams right there. So it'll lock it in. That's what I was going to say. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so she, all she's gonna do is go all the way around, and then she'll finish up at the uh, at the other line. So we'll come back. Later. So now we're at the end. So we're gonna back stitch again, just so that when we turn it out, it's gonna be a pressure on that seam. Yes, like when you do a saddle stitch, you backtrack to hold it in. Now what? Now. Well, now you take your fingers out. Then. And then you clip the corners just because it'll give you nicer corners. Okay. All right. The, easy, the easiest way I find turning it is I put my thumb inside. And I gently, because if you do it too hard, you're actually going to go right through the fabric, especially if it's a weave. You put your finger in and you just pull, push the corner and you do all of them. It just makes it easier when you turn it inside out. And usually I do the side side here and this one here, one of these anyways. That one I'm going to pull with my thumb right through the hole. And then you pull. And you try try to uh, pull on this fabric and this fabric at the same time, and it seems to and work it out gently because if it's too, if you do it too uh, rough, you're going to rip those hmm. seams. I use this, which is a giant like knitting needle, but you can use anything like a, a dowel that's uh, been sharpened or something, but nothing too sharp because then if it's too sharp, you'll push your thing right through and make a hole on your corner. Do it very, very gently, just enough to work it out the corners. So to iron, I find that if you take your fingers and just gently roll on the edges to make sure that you're right up to the seams so you get you don't have like any fold down and you can just make sure that and then iron it and do that on all sides what about that hole where's the hole I don't know. so it's full the hole is just folded in you're just going to close it by sewing over top of it yeah because it's, it's just rolled in yeah all right so we got the uh Edges all ironed out, and now it's all flat. So she's just going to put a finishing, uh, finishing edge on here in about a eighth of an inch. 
right? Uh, see. Anything nice? I can't see. That's a good eighth of an inch. A healthy eighth. Healthy. So just gonna run that around and uh, she'll be done. If you hang out in Sophie's uh, sewing room long enough, you're bound to uh, to gain the benefits too. <laughs> you get a little bow tie. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, call me when those are done. <laughs> All right. There's your hanky. All done. There's a, a couple more for good measure. And uh, I'm going to do one more video where I'm going to make something else. And then uh, we're going to do a giveaway on these things. So uh, stick with me. Watch a few another video. And uh, we'll do a little contest giveaway. So... Well, that's it for now. I hope you give it a try. Uh, I'm telling you, I love carrying the hanky now and uh, hard to do without it now. So, see you next time. Bye bye. Uh, looks like I have work to do. Bye bye. <laughs>